vitamin D. Is it actually dangerous? The big vitamin D lie. What if your beloved vitamin D supplement is actually putting your health at risk? I want to talk about how vitamin D can be your biggest friend or your biggest enemy. I want to tell you the big dangers of supplementing vitamin D incorrectly and of course also how to do it correctly to get these very important benefits. Don't go anywhere because in one minute I will reveal this secret silent danger to you. Let's talk about why it is dangerous first before we go all into that very good stuff of vitamin D. Vitamin D's main job is actually to boost your calcium absorption, right? Without the partner vitamin K2 though, all of that calcium is going into the wrong places. It's going into the arteries, calcifying your blood, increasing your CAC scores on a scan. So you want vitamin K2 to actually tell it where the calcium should go and that is into your bones rather than clogging your arteries. Neglecting vitamin K2 with a high dose of vitamin D, which I like to take high doses, it helps the calcium to roam freely in your body and calcify your blood. That is not what you want and that comes with big dangers. Another hidden danger is taking the wrong vitamin D. Many people and even doctors prescribing, and I'm not a doctor, but listen, prescribing vitamin D2 to people. And that is not the same like vitamin D3, which you synthesize, for example, by getting the sun. I show you here this beautiful sunset, which I am witnessing right now, getting all the benefits of vitamin D3. But vitamin D2 is nothing like that. In fact, taking the wrong vitamin D2 can actually cancel out some of the benefits of D3. So you are getting prescribed sometimes something which is actually working against you. That is not good for your immunity, not good for your mood, not good for all of these things which usually are benefits of vitamin D3. And the dose matters also. More is not always better, especially when it comes to vitamin D. It's a fat-soluble vitamin, so it stacks up in your body. So too much can cause calcium spikes, especially when not paired with vitamin K2. Alarmingly, actually, in one randomized control trial, older women were giving a very high dose, 500,000 IU at once, a yearly dose, right? And they actually saw 15% more falls and 26% more fractures in the high vitamin D group. So one huge dose doesn't help. I'm taking, personally, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm taking 10 to 20,000 every day. Most of the time, 10,000. I'm getting some sun exposure also. I'm doing the blood work and checking actually my levels. It should be, in my opinion, I'm not a doctor, always between 50 and 100. But you do your own research. Of course, the official numbers are different. The point being is just taking 500,000 once a year or something is not the same as taking, for example, 10,000 every single day. And finally, very important, nutrient interactions are very sneaky culprit. Ladies and gentlemen, your body needs magnesium and zinc to properly use the vitamin D you are taking in. Actually, in a 2018 study, they warned that without enough magnesium, your body can't take in and activate the vitamin D. Or even worse, it might even harm you. The study's co-author put it bluntly. He said, without magnesium, vitamin D is not really useful or safe. So low magnesium means vitamin D can raise your calcium, but stay inactive, potentially causing the artery calcification you want to prevent in the first place. And also don't forget about zinc. Zinc is a crucial cofactor that helps vitamin D regulate your genes and your immune system, one of the biggest benefits of vitamin D. The vitamin D receptor in your cells actually needs calcium to function. So if you are zinc deficient, your vitamin D engine is not working. The sun is really like shining into my face. I am synthesizing vitamin D in the most natural form from the sun. So do not forget about about that. The good news also, vitamin D is amazing for you, especially when used correctly. The solution is to pair vitamin D3, not D2, with the body's vitamin K2, zinc, magnesium. Take the correct form. It's fat soluble. So if you have powder or something, it's usually not as good as having something dissolved in a healthy oil, right? If you don't have the one with the oil, eat it with a fatty meal. So this is all of the things I wanted to tell you, all of these amazing benefits and the dangers to look out for. Let me know what you think about that. Make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel and you watch this very important video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, guys, as always, bye, bye.